On my website, I got this question about finding the volume of cubes and uh, spheres. And before I uh, solve it for you, I just want to tell you, you can also go to my website, eh, explainingmaths.com. And I have the entire, or all the maths topics for your GCC or IGCC uh, maths exam explained on my website. And it's all for free. And you can also ask me your questions like this uh, uh, student did. Okay, So please visit my website if you have time. What is going on? We have a metal cube and the side is 6 centimeters. Yeah? And a cube, as I'm sure you know, is like a 3D square if you like. Yeah? So let me just sketch that. Well, it's a horrible square, but okay, that's a cube. 6, so all the sides are 6 centimeters. And it's a metal cube, and we are melting it, and it's turned into a solid sphere. Okay, so we are melting uh, the cube, and we told that uh, we turn that into a sphere, a solid sphere, eh, which is like a three-dimensional circle, and eh, like a football. Okay, calculate the radius of the sphere. Now, when um, we are melting it, we assume that no volume is being lost. Okay, so the volume of the cube equals the volume of the sphere. Okay, so the volume of the cube uh, is length times width times breadth, yeah? So 6 to the power 3, yeah? 6 times 6 times 6, if you like. And um, that is 216. So the volume of my sphere is also going to be 216. Now, the volume of a sphere, uh, the formula for that is 4 over 3 pi r cubed and that formula is usually given in the question okay or perhaps you have a formula sheet and then you will find this formula uh, which is the volume of a sphere on that formula sheet okay four of four, four of three pi r to the power of three and we are finding trying to find out what is the radius and four over three is a number pi is a number and we know the volume so the only unknown is my r because i will equal this now to 216 let me just put a little line there in between uh equals 4 over 3 pi r to the power of 3 so if i first divide both sides by 4 over 3 i get pi r to the power of 3 uh is 162 so r is the cube root of 162 divided by pi, yeah? And my calculator will work it out for me, and it's gonna give me an answer of 3.72210245, and to three significant figures, that's 3.72 centimeters. Okay, so um, hopefully that was useful. This is mensuration, this is about volumes, and um, you gotta realize that the volume remains the same, yeah? We have this iron cube and we melt it into the sphere the only unknown then is the radius which you then can find all right so go to my website explainingmaths.com for all my videos and please like and share this video if it was useful then i can help your friends too okay i wish you a pleasant day and i'll see you later bye bye